heart may as well be stone. Oh, it weighs you down deeper than you know. Yeah, it weighs you down deeper than you know. Peace, be still, my darling. All is well, my darling. Your anxious heart may as well be stone. Oh, it weighs you down. Deeper than you know, yeah, it weighs you down deeper than you know. What's up, everyone? Hope everyone is doing okay in these crazy times out there. Um, yeah, earlier this week I posted that I wanted to do a QA, and a and I thought maybe more questions would come in, or the fact of the matter is that I only got three questions on the post, so instead of sitting down in the comfort of my own home with a cup of coffee, I bundled up, came out here to ride and answer several questions that were asked. First one is from Equal Opportunity Guns. Hello, Equal Opportunity Guns. Uh, he says, or she says, don't know he or she, I really enjoy your content, especially the Marquette, Michigan videos. Do you live in the UP? No, I do not live in the UP. I live in northern Wisconsin, so going up to the UP is actually not um, not very far. It's about a three-hour drive for me. So, uh, yeah, unless you consider this the UP. I'm new to the area, so don't really know what would be considered the UP, but I definitely don't think I live in the UP. If it's in northern Wisconsin, I don't think it's the UP. Uh, but I could be totally wrong on that, so... You tell me, do I live in the UP? I live about three hours southwest of Marquette, Michigan. And I love going to Marquette, Michigan. It reminds Jordan and I of a Colorado town such as Boulder or Fort Collins. A lot of good mountain biking, a lot of good riding. Can't wait to get back up there and travel. Thanks for the question. Next question comes from Patrick Carroll. Patrick Carroll asks, I'm looking at doing the Adirondack Trail Ride, T-A-T-R, this summer. I think I have a firm grip on everything I need, but it'll be my first multi-day backpacking trip. Any tips? Are you familiar with the route? It looks awesome. Thank you. So, I didn't actually, I've never actually heard of this route before, uh, but when you posted the question, Patrick, I googled it, and it does look awesome. So if you have a good grip on what you're taking, I think my best piece of advice for you would be to focus on what you want out of the experience. If you really want to enjoy the riding part, then pack as light as you can. If you want to enjoy being out there in the comforts of home, away from home, then sacrifice a little bit and pack heavier, pack items that maybe you wouldn't have if you are trying to ride fast or just put in a lot of miles. So the biggest thing I could recommend is just to pick which do you want out of the two. It's really hard to, to find that middle ground. You can do it, uh, but I would suggest picking one out of the two. If you want to ride fast and enjoy the ride, pack as light as you can, leave some things that maybe you would bring on uh, shorter trip because you got to remember if you are doing a multi-day trip that if you bring something that you intend to use you know 30 minutes a day at the end of the day for four days but that item is four pounds that's kind of a heavy item but just an example four pounds you got to ride with that all the time so those four pounds are on you the whole time, even though you're using that item just 30 minutes a day. So really think about what you want out of that experience. If you want to have more comfort and fun during the riding time, or if you want more, more comfort during your camping time. It's all just personal preference, really. That's what bikepacking is. is some people bike pack with, you know, the cast iron skillet. Some people bike pack with 
no camping stove at all. So it's really what you want to get out of it and have fun. That's what it's all about. At least for me it is. Hopefully it is for you too. Thanks for the question, Patrick. Really good one. And the last question comes from Bojan Dradisic. Dradisic. Bojan asks, what do you think about fixies? So if you're new to the channel, you probably haven't seen the video, but I made a video all about what got me to start riding my bicycle and that was a fixed gear. Riding fixed gear bicycles, uh, I believe it started in 2011. Just made me fall in love with cycling. So I don't, I love fixed gear bicycles or track bikes, whatever you wanna call them. I love them. I still have one back in Colorado. I'm actually contemplating bringing it here. Although when I wanna ride road or anything like that, I usually take this Kona Rove due to its bigger volume tires. There's a lot of gravel around here and sometimes you wanna get off the road. Right now I've been riding road because the gravel is either covered in ice or melted and uh, really muddy. But fixed gears are awesome. If you are looking at getting into cycling, I think fixed gears or single speed is the way to go. Primarily bicycle maintenance Low maintenance means that it's a low cost initially for you, the user. So I think you're gonna fall in love with cycling more if there's less cost that you have to dump into it right away. As you get into it, buying you know more expensive gear, bikes, whatever, it's your own choice and personal preference, but a fixed gear or a single speed bicycle is a beautiful way to get into cycling because it's just simple, simple. You don't have to think about anything, you're just pedaling, going. It's a beautiful thing. And I will link the video I'm talking about, about the uh, Fixie or the track bike that started it all. So yeah, thanks for the question, Boyan. So you guys probably noticed that I've been riding with some new gear. Um, this is the Double Decker from Rogue Panda Designs, and this is the Alamo Gordo Top Tube Bag from the same company. I just got them um, last week, or actually this past week, and I ordered them on Super Bowl Sunday. So it was about five weeks of time for them to make a custom frame bag. And I will go over the process of how to do that and review the bags when I've put more miles into it. Just thought I'd point them out since they are in this video and I'm using them now. Gonna use them for more rides on this bike, obviously, long day rides and gravel events like 100 mile rides um, and bike packing, of course. So excited to try them out, excited to actually put miles and, and use into them before I talk about them. So yeah, anyway, that is, a, I need to get back on the road. It's a lot colder than it was last week. Thank you guys for asking those questions. And I hope I did a decent job at answering them.